Porsche should be pretty satisfied with Porsche Challenge. Sony is no stranger when it comes to racing games. This game has no special feature that sets it apart from the crowd, but there's no major downfall. In fact, everything is pretty much dandy. The graphics are pleasing to the eye, the play control is decent, and the challenge is manageable. This game does not have scaling problems on the sides of the screen like most racing games. There's not one bit of ugly pixelization, and the cars look so cool you want to run right out and buy a Porsche. Nah. A Porsche is way too expensive for my taste. Even if I had money coming out of my armpits, I wouldn't want to blow an extra $50,000 on a car just to make a fashion statement when I can get a car just as good for a quarter of the price. I should state that these are not my opinions. If you disagree with all this, yell at Tom Allen, who reviewed this game. Just to emphasize how Porsche intensive this game is, you should know the game includes a pseudo commercial that glamorizes the Porsche. Some guy talks about what a dream come true it is to be able to design Porsche cars. Hey, whatever floats your boat. Also, the instruction booklet contains a list of every Porsche dealer in the country, from Alabama to Alaska to Wisconsin. Even the phone numbers are included. Anyway, Porsche Challenge is a decent game. It's fun to play, but only obsessed racing fanatics should actually pay for this short thrill. Realistically, this game is a good renter. Now get out there and start leasing that Porsche so we can get our commission. Just kidding.